Click on the arrow next to Assignment. Click on the arrow next to Human Resources Management. Click on the Execute button next to the Assignment of Personal Area to Company Code. Assign Company Code to Personal Areas in the Company Code column that we have already created. Assign City Group to Personal Areas in the City Group column. Click the Save button. Assign Company Code to Other Personal Areas. Assign City Group to Other Personal Areas. Save it. Click Yes. Click the back button. Then click on the arrow next to Human Resources Management. Click on the Execute button next to the Employee Groups. Click the New Entries button. Enter a key in the Employee Group column. Save it. Click the back button. Click on the Execute button next to the Employee Subgroups. Double click on the Define Employee Subgroup. Click the New Entries button. Enter a subgroup's key in the Employee Subgroup column and enter the in the name of Employee Subgroup column. Save it. There is already an existing key, so we needed to change it. Press Enter. Save it. Click the back button. Click on the arrow next to Assignment. Click on the Execute button next to the Assign Employee Subgroup to Employee Group. Click the New Entries button. Select the Employee Group in the EE Group field. Select the Employee Subgroup and the EE Subgroup field. Click the checkbox to the left of the Country Group column. Save it. Click the Back button. Click the New Entries button. Repeat the same steps for the other employee groups and employee subgroups.
Save it. Click the back button. Click on the arrow next to Personnel Management. Click on the arrow next to Personnel Administration. Click on the arrow next to Organizational Data. Click on the arrow next to Organizational Assignment. Click on the Execute button next to the Define Employee Attributes. Select the Country and the Country Grouping field. Click the check mark. Click the position. Select the Employee Group in the EE Groups field. Click the check mark. Or press Enter. Press F1 in the active status column and enter the status 1 for active employee. Press F1 in the employee status column and enter the status 2 for salaried employee. Press F1 in the training status column and enter the status 9 for other. Select status for each employee subgroup. Save it. Click the back button.